Here's today's prophecy update. Iran's defense minister said last week that his country would soon unveil the recent improvements in its Imad ballistic missile and that Iran would start receiving Russian S-300 ground-to-air missile systems within two months. The Pentagon, which determined that the Imad can carry a nuclear warhead, has recommended that the Treasury Department and the UN impose economic sanctions on individuals and companies engaged in trade with Iran's missile development industry. Meanwhile, the Iranian media said Tehran and Moscow had launched talks on the sale of the Sukhoi Su-30 jets to the Iranian Air Force. The FARS news agency quoted Iran's commander-in-chief as saying, Iran's missile capability and its missile program will become stronger. We do not pay attention and do not implement solutions or resolutions against Iran, and this is not a violation of the nuclear deal. He was referring to Iran's deal with world powers last year to curb a nuclear program that the West feared, despite Tehran's denials, was aimed at acquiring atomic weapons. Our missile program is not a threat against our friends, but it is a threat against our enemies. Israel should understand what it means, Salihi said. This warning is especially ominous when we realize the Bible prophesies that Iran will invade Israel a few years from now during the Battle of Armageddon. It also foretells that nuclear weapons will, in fact, be used at the Battle of Armageddon.